Myanmar's northernmost state, Kuchin, has long been notorious for its opium trade. But rarely mentioned on the bustling streets of its capital, Michina, is the region's homegrown drug problem, a scourge that is fast becoming a dark struggle for many of its youth. In the shadows, dealers and users meet with ease. Many transactions take place on the back of motorbikes. Isolation, unemployment and boredom are thought to have driven many to drug use. Heroin and opium are cheap and easily available. This user says despite his family and three children, the temptation to take drugs is overwhelming. On many mine sites surrounding the town, evidence of drug use is plain to see. Health workers say addiction is fueling the rapid spread of infectious diseases. This is my opinion. Problem was getting worse because uh, I was facing with uh, a lot of difficult cases and some patients are very young and they are co-infected with HIV and hepatitis C. Most of the patients are very young. Local NGOs run needle exchanges and education programs to try to stop the spread of HIV among injecting drug users. But they worry if they speak publicly about the problem, their projects could be shut down. The military-backed government keeps a tight lid on statistics about HIV and drug use. Police target the users and the smugglers go free. Most drug users, you know, they have experience, you know, being in jail. You know, when they come up from G, you know, they start to use again. Yeah, not like the punishing couldn't stop uh, using drug using. Outside of Michener, the graveyard shows many young lives are ending early, perhaps the result of a drug problem that the authorities don't want to see. Al Jazeera, Kachin State, Myanmar.